Top 10 pantry items you can get at Walmart, where I'm at right now. Even if you're on a budget, you can still get really healthy things. These make a massive difference for your blood sugar levels, your toxicity, your weight loss. Let me show you. Let's start with flour, right? A couple of different kinds I want to point out to you here. I try to start avoiding wheat and regular flour, a lot of gluten, a lot of sprayed chemicals that end up going on those glyphosate that gets into the gut and it creates permeability issues, which leads to autoimmune related conditions. So if you are someone of you know 50 million Americans that are suffering with a thyroid problem or a digestive problem, lupus, MS, any of those kind of conditions, you really got to start taking care of the gut. Switching to alternative flowers is a great way to start minimizing that or getting ahead of it. So right out of the gates, there is this giant bag of almond flour. And this is a really good price for this size of a bag. It's gonna last you a long time. The only ingredient is just the almond flour. So I'm intrigued by that, right? It is, uh, could be, no, it is. Look at that right there. See, I'm learning with you as we go. Non-GMO. So you're not going to be spraying the almonds with any toxins. That's a great thing to have. So good option there. Uh, so I love the almond flour, big one, 16 cups in that bag. If you can't do almonds, you have a sensitivity to nuts. A lot of people are sensitive to almonds. You can go coconut. So right below that, we have an organic, great value coconut flour. Really good price on this as well at Walmart. Great for baking. And we flip it over. We only have organic flour in there. When it's organic, this means non-GMO. Why does that matter? No pesticides, no chemicals sprayed on it. And the actual uh, ingredient itself is not genetically modified, which means you're then not genetically modified for eating it. Right next to that is chickpea. And we got a, a cauliflower blend as well. So this is another organic one. If you were making more of like a, maybe like a pizza crust, or maybe you wanted to go like more of a noodle or something like that, you could use a chickpea. Another really, really good option, organic, non-GMO. So some great prices here on flour alternatives. And then I went around the store and just started gathering some other things and just, just threw them on my pantry shelf here. I wanna show you some spices in a little bit. If you are a spice lover and like to cook with them, grill with them, there's a lot to watch out for. That's coming up in just a few moments. All right. Well, let's go through some other staple pantry items. Uh, speaking of flowers, looking like noodles. So we want to make sure that we're not intaking in the wheat, the gluten, uh, the chemicals. So we look for beans for noodles or rice for noodles. The first one here, bonza. Now this is not organic. However, it is non-GMO. So when we go to the side of the box here, these are made from chickpeas. Okay. A little bit of tapioca in there, which is okay. Pea starch. That cuts out the wheat. The fact that it has the non-GMO symbol right here, it's very important to look for. Zoom it on in. That matters to make sure there's no chemicals and it's not genetically modified. Now with the beans, you're gonna get a way higher amount of fiber. So if you come on in here, we start reading the carbohydrate intake, 35 and 60, typically lower than your typical uh, noodle. And, but then you can subtract off from that 60 or from that 35, the amount of fiber that's in it. So you're getting a cleaner source of the proteins that are in here, 11 grams of protein, 20 grams of protein, way more than wheat. You're getting healthy fibers, which can help the digestive system. And you're not getting the gluten involved a lot of times with wheat. Here's a noodle that is actually a rice noodle. What we like about this, non-GMO, organic, Cutting out all the glutens, cutting out the glyphosate, literally says that on there, so the chemicals are gone. When we flip it, always give it the eye test, go to the ingredients, organic brown rice flour and water. That's it, two ingredients, really simple, which makes it really clean. So you can still have some of these noodles and such and not give yourself as much of the chemical with it. Now, with a rice, you are gonna get a little bit of carbon spikes. See, that's higher than what we saw with the beans. A little bit of fiber we can subtract off. So if you haven't hit your goals, maybe your you know, insulin's still spiking, you still have weight to get off, you're trying to come off medications for blood pressure, cholesterol issues, or diabetes, then you might not want to have pastas. But once you do add those back in, occasionally enjoying a pasta dinner from the pantry, there you go. All right, let's have a look at beans. So uh, I grabbed a couple of them. These are fantastic. Black beans are an excellent source of magnesium. If you're listening to this, chances are you're deficient in magnesium. It gets depleted very quickly. These are USDA organic. This is less than $2 a can at Walmart. Um, with being organic, we flip it over. Let's go and read an ingredient label. Give it the old eye test. Where are the ingredients? Is even, oh, right there. Black beans, water, sea salt, bam. Really high in fiber, okay? You're gonna get carbs, but you can subtract out the fiber. And you can turn this into a hummus. You can put these on a salad. Uh, our, 
kids just eat them with a spoon out of the can? Little weirdos, who's raising them? All right, so, <laughs> or at least you can go check these. Garbanzo beans, also known as, why do they have two names? I don't get it, but they do. Uh, and the USDA organic as well. Again, less than $2 a can for these, made with real sea salt. Let's give it the old eye test and find those ingredients. There they are. The organic chickpeas, water, and sea salt. So really good option. You can have a lot of fun with these uh, with making your own hummus. If you've never done it, you should check it out uh, and try adding in. You could spice it up a little bit. This is a great one to have on hand. Uh, it's really good with veggies and as a good snack. So there's some beans for you. Uh, excellent sources of nutrients, B vitamins, and minerals. Next up, soy sauce, um, stir fry toppers, lots of different meal toppers. Here's two of our favorites that we keep in the pantry uh, quite regularly, or otherwise in the fridge. And this is Bragg's Liquid Aminos. They are gluten-free. It's made with soybean, okay? Uh, but it's non-GMO. If you're gonna have soy, it better be non-GMO. <clears throat> These, what we really love about them is this is a soy sauce, sauce alternative that doesn't have the chemicals in it and is not genetically modified. And this is, it's very salty, right? It's got that good like soy sauce flavor. We make stir fries all the time. And the reason we do that is because when we talk about produce instead of the pantry, some of that produce starts going bad. You buy broccoli, you buy cauliflower, you buy cabbage, it starts going bad. You can easily freeze that into a baggie and throw it into a stir fry with maybe some of your noodles and top it with a little bit of this. You can save a lot of produce that you spend a lot of money on by using that. So that's a staple in ours. This is another one. This one's got the sweeter kick to it. Again, we got organic. It is soy free. It's non-GMO. Okay, let's go give it the eye test. We go and we find the ingredients. Where are we at here? Yeah, organic coconut tree sap and sea salt. It's gonna have a very sweet flavor to it. So if you like more of a teriyaki to that stir fry or to maybe even a salad, this would be your option to go with. Gluten-free, non-GMO, USDA organic, another staple we have for the sweetness. So you got your sweet and your salty, okay? Now, another thing we do a lot is we make smoothies consistently mixing up you know, chia seed puddings, things of that nature. There's a lot of recipes that we promote. So we use coconut milk and we'd regularly have it in the can. The reason we do this uh, is because the can is full fat, doesn't have all those other additives to it, like you'll find in the carton. Not that you can't buy the carton. Um, however, check this one out. At Walmart, this is a very reasonable price. Get it as good as anywhere with these standards. Non-GMO, so no chemicals, not genetically modified coconuts. The lining on the inside of the can doesn't have BPA in it. A lot of cans have BPA, did you know that? And of course it's dairy free. Flip it over, give it the eye test. Coconut, water, guar gum. Guar gum just helps with that consistency, no problems with it. But we keep this around all the time. Shake it up before you use it. If you've never used canned coconut milk before, give it a little tap. And you can use a half a can of this in a smoothie, healthy fats, unlock and create healthy cells, which allow for healthy detoxification and healthy blood sugar levels so you're in fat burning mode. So that's why it's constantly in the pantry. Another thing that's always in the pantry, I don't know if we're on number eight, nine, or 10, we're getting close. Lily's chocolate, baking chocolates, or just what our kids would call a snack. <laughs> so with these, these are two crazy ones that I picked up, because I've never seen, I'm literally holding unicorn swirl baking chips and chocolate mint baking chips. You can see why people would just snack on these. Um, however, you can just get the 100% ones if you're just truly going for uh, you know that more bitter chocolate. But what we love about them, let's go to a little ingredient here. Let me show you this. When you read the ingredients, you read the tall as a sugar alcohol, so it's not gonna spike insulin levels. Could give you some digestive distress. Some people are a little sensitive to it. But cocoa butter milk, gotcha. Dextrin, chicory root fiber. Uh, so we're looking at uh, prebiotic there. It's colored with beetroot and spirulina, which is great. And then we have sea salt and stevia. And so these are non-sugar, no artificial colors, no artificial sweetener, baking chips, or a little snack for our kiddos. And so they'll have some fun with these ones, maybe making some baked goods with Nurse Living Good. Uh, the mint ones, I mean, I'll, I might have a few of these. So you can still enjoy chocolatey things, pantry items, without all the guilt because you're not spiking the insulin levels. One more thing that I wanna walk you through is some seasoning. So let's go on down this way and check this out now that the aisle is clear. First thing that I came upon is salt. We lack healthy salt. We get way too much processed salt because we shop on the inside aisles of the store. 
And that's where you're gonna get packaged goods with a lot of processed salt in it. So one of the main things you can do in your pantry is to switch out the next time it goes low, because let's be honest, you don't buy salt that often, for a high quality salt that's gonna be filled with 50 plus minerals and nutrients, these electrolytes that your bodies crave, not just NaCl, that's table salt. So to get that, Walmart has some really cost-effective options. If you come down here, we go to the mountains of the Himalayas. Great value, Himalayan pink sea salt. This one's fine. Give it the eye test. Mm, pink salt. And literally on it tells a little story of that it's actually Himalayans in Nepal through the north of Pakistan. That's where they get it. And it's that pink color, right? So I would be looking for an option of that. The next time you transfer it over, now, instead of the iodized, you know, old Morton sea salt, this pink color or gray color, or even if we come down this way a little bit, one that you would even grind yourself, excellent prices on these. Fresh ground, full of nutrients, 50 plus nutrients and minerals inside of salt. Your body needs real salt, not processed salt. Now, there's so many other seasonings here, peppers, um, Oh, Lowry's, Mark Lowry. Remember that movie? <laughs> Name that one. Put it in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. If not, too bad. Uh, ingredients, salt, sugar. Why, what? Keep going. Corn starch, tricalcium phosphate. This is a anti-caking agent that is a toxin in your body. They put sunflower oil in here. So we got a rancid oil. And then we have extractions of paprika and natural flavor. Uh, super concerned then about chemicals being used for the flavoring so that you like it more. This is what I grew up on, this kind of stuff. But you gotta watch the anti-caking agent, MSG, that's extracts a lot of times that you'll see, uh, and any kind of bad oils and sugar for any of these spices. So where I gravitate towards a lot of times so that the we don't have sugars, we don't have bad oils, we don't have excitotoxins like MSG or extracts in there. It's just trying to find some organic seasonings, rosemaries, garlics, nutmegs, oreganos, onion powders. Uh, they have a great section here at Walmart of these. Now, the key with these uh, pantry items is they're not gonna be irradiated. They irradiate them before they make them so they don't get bacterias involved with them. But you're not gonna find that, you're not gonna find the fillers when you're getting ground, you know, nutrients that are just straight up USDA organic, non-GMO. That means they can't have chemicals. That means they can't use genetically modified and the chemicals in them, um, even when it comes to the bacteria. So they just do a better job of protecting them. Let's be honest, like you don't go through a lot of these spices that often. So it's worth spending just a little bit more. But right here at Walmart, you can get really reasonable pantry items like these spices for incredible prices. So those are some of my favorites. I think I might have given you 11 or 12 of them there. But at a place like Walmart, you can still be healthy even if you're on a budget. If you need help shopping around the store, check out this video next that I made taking you through this exact type of place showing you what to look for, how to read the labels, how to be healthy, how to make food simple as a huge resource of following Dr. Living Good and the page. There's also a book in the link below that you can make food simple. That's literally the name of it. You can grab for free to help you along your journey to experience real health. So check out this video right here.